Hey guys, in the following tutorial, I'm going to quickly show you how to use the duplicate page plugin. This will allow you to duplicate any page or post on your site and then edit that content with new content. So this will be great if you are going to create uh, multiple pages uh, with similar content. Maybe you want to uh, have different landing pages, for example. Uh, you can do so by using the duplicator plugin. So right now we have this homepage created and it's been populated um, and as you can see it is looking pretty good. So to duplicate any page we want to use the duplicate page plugin. So you can find that at wordpress.org, the duplicate page plugin, or alternatively to download it you can just go into your WordPress dashboard, uh, go to plugins and then search for duplicate page. Uh, once you find it you can then uh, install and activate it and then we will just quickly go over the settings. So I have it installed here, but if you wanted to find it, you could just click Add New and then search for Duplicate Page. And then with that, you can, as I mentioned, add that to your site. So just install and activate. So here you would just click Install Now and then Activate. Then to get to the settings, you can go to Settings Duplicate Page or alternatively to the Plugins page and the Settings at the plugin. And you'll see there's a few options. Uh, the post status, uh, whether that's draft, published, private, or pending. Uh, I would set it, leave it at draft. Uh, what do you want to do after uh, you duplicate it? Do you want to go to all the posts or do you want to go to the edit screen? If you go to the edit screen, that will uh, put you uh, into that specific page and you can start editing it straight away. And if you want to add a suffix to the page title, so for example, copy, uh, you can do so as well. So I'm going to add copy so that we know it's copy. And I'm going to go to all page, uh, to all post lists. But again, you can change it if you want to start adding that page straight away. Next, we will just go to the pages section. And again, this can be done with posts and, and post types, galleries, etc. as well, and even slideshows. But in this case, I'll just show you pages. So let's go to pages. And then, for example, let's go to the home page and let's click duplicate this. It will then create a new page, copy home. And then with that created, here you see home copy. With that created, we are able to then edit this page, update the title and the permalink. So I would always suggest updating this new page title. I would uh, edit the permalink to make it relevant for what your page is going to be. So. In this case, new page title. Then you will see uh, if you're using our new themes, you will notice that the layout section is already populated with all of the content that was previously there. And that includes the images and links and everything that you've previously added. So all you have to do now is go through, change anything for this page as required, and that's it, guys. Um, just publish the page and you're good to go. So very, very simple plugin to use um, if you need to create multiple pages. So give it a go, guys. Let us know if you have any questions and hopefully that helps.